They go. Just moments from departure. Oh, now I'm going to cry. And newlywed Andrea Dorchak gets one final wave. I thought I didn't think I'd see him again now. Her husband, operations specialist, second class Andrew Dorshak, is aboard the nation's only heavy duty ice breaking ship. Not many people can say they've been to Antarctica. And that's just where they're headed. A yearly mission, a quarter century running to make a portion of the unforgiving continent accessible. This ship needs to cut that path through the ice so that those refuel and resupply stations can reach all the personnel there, scientists, partner agencies from all around the world. Uh, can essentially get what they need to get through the winter. This as conditions only continue to change. Last year, the coronavirus altered plans, sending them north instead to the Arctic as a response to growing tensions between the U.S. and Russia. It was a successful mission for the United States to be in the region and be a competitor as far as the, the polar regions being explored by competing nations around the world. This year's mission will last four months. A ship that will travel to some of the most remote portions of the globe. It's a long time. It's a huge commitment for both him and me at home. So luckily they have um, sat phones that they can call and I'm needy. So he calls me at least once a day. <laughs> and just after one, the polar star heads out to sea under tow. Thousands of nautical miles still ahead. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.